Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV and today we're going to be taking a look at mixing some drums with the PSP and Finish Strip. So to get us started I have some drums here they sound like this with no PSP and Finish Strip. Let's go ahead and add the Infinish Strip on and this is what it sounds like after. So you can hear there at the end when I take off the, especially the thing I've got on the bus, the PSP and finish strip there, there's quite a big difference. So this makes a, a dramatic difference in how it cuts through the mix. Let's go ahead and just sort of break down each thing. So uh, three of these I set up myself and then the kick one's actually a preset. They've got a bunch of just really handy presets in here. Let's start with the bus though, because it's important to know what everything's going through. So we've got a kick, a snare, and a hat. And those all go through a drum bus. And on the bus, I'm adding some reverb. And without the reverb, they sound extremely dry. So if I just go ahead and take the verb off, that's what it would sound like. So with the verb. So there's a verb. And then on the Infinish Strip itself, all we've got is basically a bus compressor. These are not really doing anything. It's all on the compressor in the middle a long attack, a release somewhere in the middle, and a threshold that was set according to where my drums were hitting. And some light compression and a little bit of makeup game. I also have the high pass filter going on down here. So the high pass filter, if I pump this like all the way up, this needle is barely gonna move. So I'm letting the kick drive it just a tad, not a ton, but just a bit. And that's basically all that's going on on this channel. And so that's what the bus is doing. So if I actually take this off and this off, we add some verb and a little bit of bus compression. And that's the bus channel. The kick, as I said, is a preset. So, and the verb also works very well with the kick. So if I actually bypass the infinish strip on this channel on the kick, you see it's a duller sound, but if I actually get rid of the verb, now I'll turn it on. You can, you can hear it, like it's definitely like bringing it forward a bit, but it's much more pronounced with the reverb. So this is one of those moves that I sort of was like, whoa, the verb is like an important step here. But again, this is just a preset. So I just went with the kick B52. There is a bunch of presets in here. Definitely worth taking a look at. And this one, since I didn't set it up, I'm not really going to break it down because I was just sort of rolling with the punches. I said, hey, I want something on the kick. They had a bunch of kick presets. And I settled on this one for my particular kick. I didn't do any sort of like super intense technical thinking. I was just sort of going through and setting up how I wanted it to. And this got the effect that I wanted. Everything else though I did set up. So on the snare, uh, if we take this off, there's a couple of things I, I had a problem with on the snare. It's just not bright enough. It's just way back there. So we need to bring that forward. And let's just take a look at the levels first too. Now we're going to go ahead and add on the Infinish Strip. So you can notice immediately there's quite a level change. And that's because of the compressor. So I wanted, I could just bring it up with the fader, but for me, sometimes I like to do that with a compressor and just sort of see what I can get out of it. Cause the compressor can be viewed as kind of a fader with the makeup gain, but it's sort of a weird deal because of the way it grabs sound and brings it up. So the first two modules gain isn't doing anything. It, it was just already here. And the basic filter I used to just take off any low end stuff that was on the snare. But the compressor itself is grabbing pretty much the entire snare. That's how I set these three attack, release, and threshold. You can see the needle pretty much matches the snare. 
And then I've got some, uh, I bring it up, but I've also got the ratio set two to three. So this is basically a volume knob, except for it's, it's not, it's a compressor, but I'm treating it kind of like a volume knob. And that's how I decided to bring it up just as an experiment. Also over here on the EQ, this is a pretty important move. So if I actually, if I mute these two, so right now there's that volume difference. So if we put this in, and then the last little sheen actually comes from this EQ. And there are two things that this EQ does. It brings up the high end a bit and it brings up the body of this snare a bit. So if I actually pump this low one, like let's say 18. So there's that nice like lower end of the snare that's coming through. So I decided to add a bit of that in there, not very much. And then on the high end, this is pretty much just all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And so just brought that up uh, a touch. Wow, I nailed the exact values I had before. And that was how I decided to do the snare. So the snare, that's what's going on there. Finally, we have the hats and without the infinished strip, sounds like this. So with the hats, I wanted the rhythm of the hats, the initial attacks, but I wanted to tame the body of the hats. So I just went at it with a compressor with a long attack. So if we open this up, uh, we have a similar notion. There was a gain that I just left alone. And I this time I brought down some of the high end uh, right off the bat. So if you mute these modules and don't forget to turn on your plugin. That's what we have coming in. Next up is the compressor with the goal I had in mind was just to have a long attack so that some of the initial transients get through and we get the same rhythm, but we get to control the body of the attack quite a bit. So it's just a more rhythmic drum kit and the high end gets tamed a bit. Up next, we hit an EQ. In this case, we're removing some of the high and some of the upper mids, and I leave the rest alone since that's all that kind of exists here. Oh, and I brought the width up too. Totally forgot I even did that. So there, I even widened the hats a bit. That's pretty much what's going on with the drums. Now, if we go over to the bus to sort of finish it off, I added that verb because they just sounded so separated and dry and I wanted a more of a wet sound so I went for a verb or more of a room sound and again just a bus compressor at the end of it so if we actually take this guy off and let's just solo it and hear it just to bring things a little bit more forward get a little bit of that glue going on and then all together <laughs> If you have any questions about this, let me know, subscribe, and have a blessed day.